Welcome back to our evening recitational program of Sri Aurobindo's Savitri. We are in Canto 10, The Kingdoms and Godheads of the Little Mind. We are through verses 220 through 225. All was a chaos of the true and false. Mind sought amid deep mists of nescience. It looked within itself, but saw not God. Material interim diplomacy denied the truth that transient truths might live and hid the deity in creed and guess that the world ignorance might grow slowly wise. This was the imbroglio made by Sorain mind, looking from a gleam ridge into the night. In her first tamperings with inconscience, its alien dusk baffles her luminous eyes. Her rapid hands must learn a cautious zeal. Only a slow advance the earth can bear. Yet was a strength unlike the unseeing earth's. Compelled to handle makeshift instruments invented by the life force and the flesh. Earth all perceives through doubtful images all she conceives in has had as jets of sight, small lights kindled by tortures of groping thought, incapable of the soul's direct in look, she sees by spasms and soldiers knowledge scrap, makes truth the slave girl of her indigence. Expelling nature's mystic unity cuts into quantum and mass the moving all she takes for measuring rod her ignorance. In her own domain, a pontiff, an seer, that greater power with her half risen sun, wrought within limits but possessed a field. She knew by a privilege of thinking force and claimed an infant sovereignty of sight. In her eyes, however, darkly fringed was lit the archangel's gaze, who knows inspired his acts and shapes the world in its far-seeing flame. In her own realm, she stumbles not, nor fails, but moves in boundaries of subtle power across which mind can step towards the sun. A candidate for a higher suzerainty, a passage she cut through from night to light and searched for an ungrasped omniscience. Seized by spasms and soldiers, knowledge scrap makes truth the slave girl of her indigence, expelling nature's mystic unity, cuts into quantum and mass the moving all she takes for measuring raw her ignorance. In her own domain, a pontiff and a seer, that greater power with her half risen sun. Wrought within limits but possessed of feel, she knew by a privilege of thinking force and claimed an infant sovereignty of sight. She takes for measuring rod her ignorance. Measuring rod means scale 
are, in other words, in its original sense, the canon, the scriptural authority behind religion is the canon. And the canon is built after sifting through religious texts which are based probably on original spiritual experience of mystics and what is acceptable, what is not acceptable, what is preferable, what is not preferable. After this process of sifting through it and making its own particular and peculiar dogma out of this application of the measuring rod comes the canon. That is why she knew by privilege of thinking force and claim an infant sovereignty of sight because it's infantile to think that you have the book of God and that God said this, said this, said that and didn't say that and then based upon all that a worldview and it's very interesting that he has dropped this very inconspicuous cuts into quantum and mass the moving all what is cannot be confined to any thought system what is beyond the thought which can only be experience which is basically the divine which was the Greek idea of it the ancients idea of it later on the dark ages and the beginning of it begins cut into quantum and mass the moving all she takes for measuring rod her ignorance since there's no way of directly perceiving it they're not mystics they're just clerics and in her own domain a pontiff and a seer and within this kind of a system of building up a canon well it's not to be denied that it's a pontiff and a seer that greater power with her half risen sun the divine is not yet there. There is no divine consciousness. There is only a thought of it, a dogma of it, using this measuring rod of ignorance. But still, she would have been to conceits. In her eyes, however darkly fringed was lit, the archangel's gaze, who knows, inspired his axe and shaped the world in its passing flame. Which means there is something still divine that makes use of this inadequate and infantile grasp at truth to build whatever is to come.